Now, me hotties, time for treasure. Ah, time for treasure. Time for treasure. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Quasi and Calico Jack reporting from Isla Escudo de Veraguas. Our mission to plant new mangrove trees is going swimmingly, Captain. That's good news, Quasi. But you might want to let your granddad know you're supposed to plant the trees, not bury them. Yeah. <laughs> Beach burial. Sorry, I thought you said this was treasure. Aye, Grandad, but a different kind of treasure. Oh, indeed, Quasi. Mangrove trees are a very important treasure. Mangrove trees are a natural tool for defending against erosion. They protect shorelines from damage caused by strong winds. And their tangled system of roots holds the ground together. This is especially important during storms and hurricanes. And they provide homes for many different creatures, like fruit bats, mangrove crabs, and sea turtles. Aye, mangroves are a true treasure. Now, hop to it, mateys. We've got some mangroves to plant. <laughs> And we'll keep planting them. Yeah, <laughs> plant. Now, now, what's all the fuss about? It looks like the trees are overrun by some sort of hairy creatures. Oh, it must be a pack of the legendary shaggy sea apes. Aye. The shaggy sea apes are a rare sight, as fierce and dangerous as they are strange. Shaggy sea apes like to be sneaky and camouflage themselves using mangrove leaves. Then they ambush unsuspecting pirates. That's why the shaggy sea apes go after mangrove trees like pirates after treasure. <coughs> We'd need an entire crew of pirates to protect our mangroves from those plundering sea apes. <laughs> but where can we find an entire pirate crew? Pirate crew! Pirate crew! Great idea, Pete. We'll train the Vegemoles to be pirates. What's going on down there? <laughs> Looks like some new kind of tasty fruit. Banana? Whoa! I've never seen fruit that walks and talks before. I think I'll stick to bananas. I don't know what you're trying to do, but we like our tree right where it is. Thank you very much. Why not try that tree instead? <laughs> Energetic little fellows, aren't they? <laughs> Is one, little guy zero. But they don't look like they're ready to give up just yet. Wait, they're up again. Oh, yes. Help. 
yourselves to this! Quasi, that's just an old empty cobweb. Are you sure? Are you sure? Check my back! Check my back! All clear, matey. No skull spiders in sight. Now, where's that beetle? There he goes! Avast! Your friends sent us to find you. Uh, you think I'm gonna fall for that? <laughs> Well, that was an unlucky break, and Bailey got away. Yeah, that little stinker's really starting to bug me. That's it, Quasi. It is? Aye. Remember how bad that beetle's acid smelled? How could I forget? That's how we'll find him again. All we've got to do is follow our noses. <sighs> this away. <laughs> I think I lost them. <laughs> now to finish my mission. <laughs> <laughs> What's the big idea? Oh, sugar. How nice of you to drop in. You're just in time for dinner. And you're the main course. <laughs> Trust me, you do not want to eat this beetle. And why not? Eating a bombardier beetle will give you serious bellyache. Plus, he stinks. <laughs> this sweet little old beetle? <laughs> he doesn't smell bad at all. In fact, he smells good enough to eat. Uh, I do. Don't say I didn't warn you. OK, Bailey, do your thing. What thing? You know, the, the squirty thing. Oh, right. I almost forgot. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mr. Beetle. You surely are not what I want to have for supper. Here, have a fish biscuit instead. Oh, thank you, sir. I can swim the rest of the way from here. Thanks for the lift. Bye. Before he comes back, where's your home? Up there. Oh, she's a whiskers. How are you going to get way up there? I'll climb. Well, I like your can do attitude, matey, but you're a fish, and fish can't climb. Oh, no. But don't worry, I can do this climb with one paw. And... Uh, where's your little fishy friend? Up here. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. He's rescued himself. Oh, 
Hold on. You don't leave any paw prints in the sand. Of course not. Sand cats have special fur on our paws. It protects us from getting burned by the hot desert sand and from sinking down into it. See? No paw prints. Hmm. That little cat looks like a tasty treat. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like a sand viper. <gasps> Stay back, you scurvy snake. Or we'll... We'll... <laughs> or you'll what? Watch out! He's venomous! Leave this to me! Pesky sand cat! Can't catch me! Well, I caught some of you! <laughs> Too slow again! Ah! Oh. These cats are too much work. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. How'd you do that? Fighting off vipers is just part of being a sand cat. Otherwise, those pesky snakes would get into all of my food hiding places. Cost me one of my whiskers, though. You may be a small cat, but you're as tough as any pirate. Thanks. And you guys are almost as tough as any sand cat. See? Here's your backpack. Ah, oh, my wee little kitten whiskers. They're still here. A deal's a deal. You found the perfect spot to bury me treasure. <laughs> Even I couldn't find it here. You know, Sandy, not all pirates have to sail the seas. Huh? Sandy the Sand Cat, as an honorary pirate, it is your sworn duty to protect this treasure. Ah, protect this treasure. In exchange for a regular delivery of fish biscuits, courtesy of the Octonauts. Your treasure will be safe with me, Calico Jack, because I'm keeping my treasure with it. Shiver me whiskers. Is that your whisker? The one you lost when you tussled with that sand viper. Yeah, it's a memento of our first pirate adventure together. And a priceless treasure in... Barnacles. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>